So, child self, destructive, suicidal, driven. Really weird survival way. I was still surviving. I would say my middle self, like middle school and high school, I was confused. I was conflicted and I was lost. I was really lost. I didn't know who I was or what I wanted to be. Being between two worlds. And I would say now, as my adult self, that I am compassionate. I am passionate with rhymes. <laughs> and I'm strong. And excuse me. So this was when I was around 10 years old, I think about in fifth grade, so I was just home, it was, it was like after school, around like the evening time, and I'm in my room in my small two-bedroom apartment in LA, and uh, I was just drawing and just writing, you know, just progressing the work and creating more animals, and my mom, she walks in, and she sees what I'm doing, and she's just, she's furious, she's, she's, livid and she starts to scream and yell at me and she starts to basically like just question me and ask me like why are you doing this like I've already told you several times like you can't draw animals you can't draw people it's going to send you to hell basically that's going to send me to hell and you're just you're ruining everything and so she, this is this is the type of rhetoric that she used to a 10 year old child who was already so broken at that point and she just continued to yell at me and I just I couldn't take it anymore. I was I was already suicidal and depressed as a child and I didn't I didn't even know that I was, you know, having those emotions and that it was considered I didn't know that. I was, you know, just a kid. And I couldn't take her hostility anymore. I couldn't do it. And so once she left and I was I was crying, I was just so upset and I decided, you know, fine, you want me to be this perfect Muslim daughter of yours who's quiet and doesn't express herself and just does what you want like a robot, then fine, I will do it. That's what you, if that's what's gonna make you happy, mom, then I'll do that. So I destroyed everything. I got scissors and I cut up everything. I ripped it apart, I got a marker, I got my field gut, and I just x through pages, I blacked everything out, I just threw it all away. And the only pieces that I kept were, I kept these drawings of this companion I had created, this, this green dragon I had saw, saw in a dream, I, I kept the pieces of him, the bits and pieces of paper of him in like a bag and I put that away in my drawer. But everything else I threw it away and at the end of the day I just, I felt so numb and I, had, I felt like I was in a shell and I felt, I felt that way from the age 10 in 5th grade to about senior year in high school because within, I was trying so hard to be this person that she wanted me to be that I just wasn't. I wasn't this, you know, perfect daughter who was just gonna do everything she wanted. And that's how, like, I lived those years. I just was wearing a mask. And I didn't even know I was doing it. I just did what I had to do for my mom. I made this when I was really beginning to realize that this is what I wanted to create. This is what I wanted. Like, Galho was the reason why I wanted to go deeply into art. And I think when I finished this painting, I felt like I had really realized, like, this is what I want to do. Like, like this, this painting was like a really big, um, I guess, like a stepping stone in my life and in my journey in becoming an artist. And when I actually was accepting myself and fully realizing that I want to flesh out like the entire world and my world is just really deeply ingrained in my imagination and I have very vivid and lucid dreams 
where I'm in my world sometimes or I'm having a memory of a character or I'm seeing a new character. And so in my world is very much about the na nature and people being connected together. So when I feel really spiritual and connected to nature, then I'm able to feel really strong and like, I don't know, like just like this strength inside me, like I just feel it when I'm painting and when I'm creating. And so, yeah. And I think emotionally I was really starting to realize what my state of mental health was and really starting to think about it more and articulate it and understand why I think the way I do and why I do what I do. I want to just say that I'm really grateful for my friends and for making me feel alive and helping me survive through everything I've been through and really helping me understand who I am because I would isolate myself to really think about why I am the way I am, why I do the things I do. And I would redirect these thoughts and feelings to them and they would really help me figure out what my situ what my problems were, understanding why I do things the way I do. And it just helped me see the better side of life, seeing that love and happiness exists and that people love me and care about me, even though I didn't have the two people who I wish would do that for me.